can go ahead. All right, JJ. May the best man not eat the other person's shorts. No consumey. Three, two, one, go. Eat my shorts. Whew. All right, what's up? I'm fan of gaming. I think I've left the Discord already. Okay. Uh, this is Bart Simpson versus the Space Mutants. And you know what? I'm a little nervous, I'll be honest. But that's okay, I've practiced a lot. Thanks for the good luck wishes, Bellcat and Kronos. I'm very excited. I'm also quite nervous. As I was saying to JJ, my biggest fear isn't that I'm gonna fail, necessarily. It's that I'm gonna fail early, and in stupid ways. Because <laughs> this game is hard, it controls like ass. It just plays really poorly. And, um, there's so much stupid stuff that you can get hit to, like a fool. Like an absolute fool. But it's okay. I'm sure as I, uh, go through it, I will, uh, you know, shake the nerves. Maybe I'll make some dumb mistakes, or maybe it'll go really well. Who knows? Uh, three, four, five. Uh, I've actually been missing the rocket in some of my practices lately, so I'm gonna buy an extra rocket. If I let you down like pizza did, you're going to, uh, never let me forget it? That's fair. Um, like, JJ's not going to beat me, that's just not in the cards. Uh, but, we might both lose. I'm getting some tricky jumps here, actually, that's quite a good omen for the run. That jump that I just made to, uh, that, like, fabric overhang is a really tricky jump. Okay, just kind of bait that dog into leaving. I have missed this police officer before, but I think I've gotten it a bit more consistent now. I've missed that before too, and that one feels bad. There's really no backup if you uh, run out of rockets. You have to go back and buy another one. It's very bad. Uh, I've also taken careless hits on these dogs before, which is really pitiful. They're actually very easy to dodge. In fact, the skateboarding section in general is very free. Um, there is a... Uh, very fast way to go through this next section, and I probably will try it, even though it makes the odds of me getting hit probably about four times more likely. So you start by running under that guy, and uh, this is the tricky part. There we go, quite easy. Uh, I've also missed this one before. Oh shoot, I was supposed to run right under those guys. I missed the sign because you, uh, you make that jump, and then you have to- wait, I think there's a coin in this one too. Uh, I need a lot of coins, especially since I just uh, frivolously spent an extra one on rockets. Um, but basically, I fired a rocket in the wrong direction before, and uh, if you didn't buy an extra rocket, there's really no recovery. It costs you, like, two minutes, and dramatically increases the chance of you getting hit. So I've had a pretty good stage one so far. If I can make it to Nelson with uh, both my hits, I actually can't die. Uh, if I just spam attack, he can't hit me. And indeed, we are going up to Nelson, the first boss. Um, absolutely perfect run so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, jump, he jumps two, that's fine. My mashing was off, but that's okay. And with that, we've had a perfect first world, which is no big surprise. It's very easy, relatively speaking. Now, I budget myself one stupid death in the second level. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can easily get hit by, but I also wouldn't be surprised if I did manage to pull it off without getting hit. It's not hard either. Um, oop. Okay, I missed the, uh, the, um, what do you call it, like the autopilot cycle there, but that's okay. It's going pretty well so far, I would say. Hopefully JJ's having a good time too. Um, I imagine people are gonna start spamming me if and when he game overs. <laughs> And it's gonna be, um, if that does happen, I think it would be an unfair advantage, so I would advise you not to. Um, let the pressure kind of build up all the way through, if you would be so kind. Oh, there's a dumb hit. That's alright, still within the, uh, dumb hit budget. Whoop! Which kind of, oh, this is a bad fight. As long as I don't die, though, it's alright. Oh, ooh, that was almost bad. Oh, no. Okay, um, a Deathless World 2 is still in the cards here. Uh, everyone is saying more to JJ, that's fine. He's probably going to be the more interesting person to watch, at least for a while. Until he, until he DNFs. 
<laughs> Poor JJ. No, he's a, he's been a great sport. Like, not just, um, you know, with regards to the friendliness of this competition, but we've, we've shared strats. He let me in on a couple easy strats for sections that I was having trouble with, and uh, I've tried to do the same to him. It's been a really friendly competition. You know, major props to JJ. He gets a lot of flack, and he deserves a lot of it, but uh, he's a good guy. And if you haven't followed him, I think you definitely should. Okay, so we're coming up to the uh, end of the second part of World 2. There are three parts, of course. This is the uh, second boss. Shout out to the Really Big Shoe, my favorite shoe store. Okay, I've taken a lot of stupid deaths to this boss. Uh, even just earlier today, JJ let me in on a, a, a bit of a safer strat, I suppose. Um, but that's uh, not getting shown off here because this is a terrible fight. But I'm not dead, so that's, uh, you know, that's uh, what really matters. Um, not taking my budgeted death so far is good. I think I am more consistent on the third part than I am on the second. So we might see a Deathless World 2. There's a decent chance, I think. Um, if I am going to get hit, it's probably going to be on the uh, section with the rabbits coming out of the hats. I'm taking it quite slow now because I do want to be a little bit safer than normal. Alright, this next bit should be pretty free. Just jump over, under, over, under, over. And this is the bit that I might get hit on, this next bit right here. This is harder to time than it looks, and indeed I did get my hit, but that's okay. I'm within, uh, death budget. I've got one- oop, okay, well that was a really dumb hit. Yikes, okay, I really have to focus up now. Holy smokes, if I take another death here, I'm gonna feel very bad. Okay. Alright. Uh, if I... Uh, do take the second death here. I have to be very conservative on the next couple of stages. Like, very conservative. It's not gonna be fun. Alright, next bit's pretty free here. Just, uh, wait for these cloth guys to do a little jump at you, and no problem. Okay, after this is the uh, platforming bit over the magic wands. This part's pretty easy. I have, you know, fallen off like an idiot here before, and it always feels bad when it happens. But, uh, no problem there. I've taken really weird hits there in the past, and I don't know why, uh, but uh, it can happen, and it always feels bad when it does. Okay, uh, if the boss cooperates, I think I should have this without another death. Uh, that's pretty good. Spot for him to go. Kind of messed up a little bit, but that's alright. No problem. Uh, and the main boss is relatively free, so I think it's going pretty well so far. Uh, my time is okay, I'm a little bit slow. Uh, but this boss is quite easy. I have gotten hit here before, and it feels really bad when you do. This is a fairly bad fight so far, I'm not timing these super well. And I'm also missing them a bit. There we go. Alright, one death going into World 3 is pretty good. Uh, I should have a pretty good chance of doing World 3 deathless. And then I have two deaths budgeted for World 2. And if all goes well, I'll have two then for World 5 as well. Oh, sorry, I have two deaths budgeted for World 4 is what I'm trying to say. Um, so this section is pretty okay, you know. Uh, I think I may have screwed my cycle here. That's okay. There we go. Okay. So this is the dart exploit. Uh, in this stage, you have to shoot balloons. And you have to shoot quite a lot of them, it's it's a little annoying. Most of them aren't even static, they kind of just randomly appear on the outskirts of the stage as you go through it. But uh, there's this balloon game, and these count. Now normally you'd hit the three that they want you to hit, and uh, they would all pop, and you'd get credit for them as well as five coins. Okay, uh, I got two more attempts. But you can just deliberately fail, and it still counts towards your goals. It's a little tricky to hit some of these, but it's not too bad once you get the timing down. Okay, I need to win this next one. Three reds. Oh, okay, that's a little rough, but it's not, um... It's not disqualifying or anything like that. Okay. It will slow me down quite a bit, but, uh... This is definitely still doable. Okay, these smoke bombs can be a real troll. So I like to shoot them out. Just about there. Okay, I am gonna have to shoot pretty much every uh, passing balloon if I want to hit the balloon goal. 
And like I said, it's a little bit annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ugh, jeez. The nerves are getting to me, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Uh, just a little bit. I mean, I think my- Ooh, that was lucky. If that had not been an alien, I would have taken a hit there. Um, I think I am doing okay. I think it'll be fine, but I am a little nervous. Uh, I used to take an intentional death here to skip this timer, but um, I've kind of fallen out of favor with it. I don't like doing it anymore. Uh, because as I got further in to the challenge, I found that I was dying a lot in World 3, and that feels pretty bad. Um, so you just kind of, you know, dick around here, and you usually fail it, but sometimes you get a cycle that lets you uh, do it quite easily. But it's alright. So, I might die on this next section. It's a tricky jump, and I don't know why it works, but... Oh, I did in fact die there. Alright, well that's two deaths. Um, I don't really do a backup on this, so I could just die again, but no, there we go, that's fine. Alright, dying on uh, this world is always kind of sad, because it's a fairly easy world. Um, my last few practice runs did see this deathless, so, uh, you know, feels pretty bad. So, fun little secret here, if you jump into Krusty's mouth, you go into this little bonus zone. It's not actually useful, but uh, it's it's a thing. Oh, this is quite bad. I don't have a uh, shot left either, so I have to wait for him to pass, and then go. That's fine. Not having the slingshot is a little rough. There we go, got it back. I have to be really careful, of course, because getting hit uh, will kill me. I'm also going to have to kind of dick around for a while to wait for balloons at some point. Oh, that's really bad when you get the double guys, but I made it past them, no problem. Okay, I need to be careful not to run out of slingshot ammo too, because if I do, I will kind of be you know, screwed. I don't even know if you can recover from that. All right, I have to wait for one more balloon, and hopefully it will appear before long. <laughs> oh man. All right, so um, I'm, I'm doing quite poorly in terms of lives, but uh, if I have a good world four, it'll, it'll make up for itself. Um, it's very, very hard to have a deathless world four, and I'll explain why once I start it. But, uh, World 5 Deathless is, you know, tricky but doable, basically. I will probably spend a lot of time, uh, sort of calming myself. Uh, I'm not gonna take it quickly, is my point, because if I get there, it's very easy to throw. Alright, so this is World 4. The reason it's so hard to do this World Deathless is because for some reason, no other stage does this. This stage starts you with, like, less than half time. Um, so, even if you do the stage really well, you're probably going to time out, and it sucks. Almost got uh, hit there. I don't think that security guard was an alien. Uh, so the point is, it is uh, very easy to go a little bit slower than the game wants you to, and die anyway, just because you've run out of time. I've never had a Deathless 4 because of that reason. I've done fours where I didn't die to enemies, or four, I've done runs where I was uh, set to have it deathless, but I had to take an intentional death uh, because I was going to time out if I didn't. <gasps> okay. That rock can be a little bit mean sometimes. This dragonfly can as well. He can block this next jump sometimes. It's really annoying. I'm going to go for a little swag jump here. <gasps> it saves maybe like three or four seconds. Whoa, my OBS just did something weird. Okay, well, if uh, anything got funky just now, be sure to come into my chat and spam me. Because I'm gonna keep going otherwise. God, how sad would it be to disqualify yourself from a mod challenge by having, like, streaming issues? <laughs> oh man, that would be tragic. Alright, it's going very well so far in World 4. Um, this is about par. For what I would expect. I'm not doing particularly great on time. I'm actually going a little slower than I normally do. But, uh, you know, I chalk that up to, uh, you know, streaming jitters. It's nothing, uh, nothing tragic at any rate. It's probably going to be fine, is my point. 
Okay, this next bit is what I like to call the Indiana Jones section. It's not too hard, but it is easy to kind of, well, first of all, miss a jump, obviously, but more importantly, it's easy to uh, get impatient and try one of these jumps before you're supposed to, um, which will usually lead to death. You have to land on the red platforms or else you just die. Uh, you'll fall through the floor. I almost fell off there. Um, we, JJ and I talked a little bit about how god-awful the platforming in this game is. It probably doesn't look as bad uh, as it feels. Anyone who watches this and says, Ah, oh, this doesn't look that bad. Seriously, go try it. It is awful. I've almost fallen off of two of these platforms. Um, not only does the game uh, control very poorly. That's three deaths. Um, a lot of these platforms are not nearly as big as they look. Um, so that death probably didn't matter, honestly. I would have preferred not to die there, but it's no huge loss because, like I said, I will time out regardless if uh, all else remains equal. So I'm not too unhappy with that one. Um, it is a little bit more pressure, which I don't appreciate. And in fact, I'm really starting to sweat here. I have died three times. I am allowed to die two times more. Um, if I get through the rest of four without dying, I'll feel kind of okay. But if I uh, DNF, obviously I'll be quite sad. Uh, there's one section in this level after this part that's very easy to die on. Uh, one pretty big section, and <laughs> it's easy to die on in like multiple ways. <laughs> so uh, I'm definitely sweating a little bit. Let's just put it that way. Would have felt a lot better if I didn't eat that last death when I did. Uh, uh, okay. Alright, past the Indiana Jones, well, the first half of the Indiana Jones section. Uh, this is uh, the Temple of Doom section, I suppose. Because uh, we have to collect these onks. We have to get six of them in total. There is a set pattern. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, I'm sweating. Uh, okay, these jumps are scary. Uh, these spiders will fall from the ceiling, of course, and it's really easy to get hit by them if you're not paying much attention. Oh, jeez. A lot of people are spamming me. Did Jake just uh, DNF? Uh, not Jake. JJ? There we go. Ugh. 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 Oh god, everyone's spamming me. Hang on, I can't read it. I'm sorry. Uh, it's really easy to die in this section because you have about one-third of your total speed. And, um, especially if you're towards the right, the screen will start scrolling when that section's over, and it's very easy to, uh, get hit. Oh, shoot, I screwed up that guy. Alright, respawn. No, respawn the other way. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Alright, Mummy's pretty free. I've gotten hit by him before. Holy smokes, he DNF'd? Oh, no. He did DNF. That's sad. Well, I'm sure it was a good, um, a good showing. At least, he's a good guy. Alright. Well, I don't know how the prediction's gonna work if I have to uh, win for uh, the people who voted on me uh, to get their credits. Alright, this is the next section that's really easy to die on. Not because of, you know, hard enemies or... Ugh, oh, jeez. Or any sort of challenging level design, but strictly because of uh, bottomless pits and bad platforming. Just like, you know, every other part of the game. I've got this part down to an absolute science. I don't think I've died on this section in probably about 15, 20 attempts. But this next part is the boss fight from hell. You have no idea how precise this jump is. Like, seriously, it's a disaster. But of course, being the expert gamer I am, I get it on the first try. And, um... Barring a huge blunder, I would say that I am very likely to, uh, finish the level without dying again. <gasps> okay. This boss is pretty easy. I've kind of messed up a little, but, uh, no problem. Whew! Alright, I have two deaths left. Um, it's looking quite good, honestly. Uh, it's looking quite good. It is possible for me to, like throw wildly at this point, but, um, you know, uh, stage 5 is, is relatively easy. There's no difficult enemies in stage 5, with one exception. 
these pink space mutants. They're trickier than they look uh, because they don't all have a set height. Like, if you see a pink one, sometimes they'll, um, how to say it, sometimes they'll go really high and sometimes they won't, and there's no real way to predict it very easily. Oh, jeez, I get hit here a lot of the time. Ugh. Okay, whew. Alright, so this level's a little bit of a labyrinth. Oh, yes, I got the good Maggie. Okay, this is about the best place that Maggie can spawn. Um, she's gonna spawn in a random place on the level every uh, time you reset the game. And, uh, this is the best place she can be. It's the easiest place to get to. Uh, you have to collect 16 of these nuclear power rods, right? And, uh, you can only hold four at a time. You have to bring them to the basement level once you have, uh, at least- well, you can do it at any point, but you can only hold four, so you usually do it then. I need to choke, I cannot handle another mod that time. <laughs> I would never, ever time you out for that. I am an absolute degenerate. Uh, this is a pretty tricky jump to make, because it is really easy to get hit! Okay, no problem. Um, so, in the previous- I- I've done a terrible job of explaining the basic mechanics of the game, and I apologize for that. But during each of the previous levels, you could kill the space aliens that are disguised as pedestrians and they'll give you a coin and if you collect a coin for each letter of the family member's name of that level they will help you during the boss fight. I haven't done it because they're not helpful at all. <laughs> the bosses are so free that it's an absolute waste of time. Okay good, so the Marge, whether she spawns or not, is completely up to RNG. Um, she, every time she spawns, she basically saves you about 10 seconds. Um, to quote the Mexican runner, Oh, Marge is such a bitch, man! Because in his world record, uh, he missed like two of her spawns and it was quite brutal. Anyway, uh, so in this level, however, all of the family members appear and they will help you to, uh, complete the level in different ways. Uh, Lisa will tell you the passwords for the doors, Marge will take your power rods and deposit them into the, uh, basement. Uh, Homer, you can give him a donut and he'll come and he'll destroy all the enemies on screen, uh, which is by far the most powerful, by the way. And, uh, well, Maggie does something too, but we, uh, we'll see that, you know, whenever... This might be a bit of a tricky... J yeah, I think I usually use a donut here. Uh, we'll see Maggie at the end. Don't you worry about that. Nope. See, that's why I usually get hit here if I don't use the donut. It's really easy to miss that jump, and then there's the wandering alien that will hit you. Um, this level is quite a labyrinth. I literally have a map of it that I drew sitting right in front of me. See, this is- Homer's so powerful. He destroys so many aliens. It's really wacky. Uh, so now I go down to level 2 fan has played this game too much, it's true. Uh, just as, um, just as Bart, uh, just as I have consumed Bart's shorts, so too has this game consumed me. I've gone the wrong direction, I was supposed to go the other way. That's okay, minor time loss, but obviously time isn't a factor now. Uh, I don't think I'm on pace to beat the fifth place world record, but I do still plan to submit my time. I'll take sixth place, that's fine. And who knows, maybe I'll pull it off. Uh, I go both directions here. I remember these being pretty free. Yeah, this one's pretty easy to get. Whoop! No problem. Yeah, I'd say I probably practiced this about 15 hours up to this point. It's hard to say because, you know, on some level, as you're playing it, your brain kind of starts to melt. Because this game is f absolute ass. It's so bad. Um, but it's not the- it's not like the worst game I've ever played. I haven't been miserable playing it. It's just not fun. It's like classic bad NES platformer, you know? I'd rather play Mario any day. Come on, Marge. Alright, no Marge. That's fine. It costs about 10 seconds, but it's not a huge deal. Okay, this is, uh, quite slow, but not a huge deal. What's worse than this? Well, I don't know. Let's uh, find out whenever I have to give JJ a punishment game. Why is it not fun? Well, for two reasons. For one, um, you'll notice I'm, I'm showing my my 
uh, Kian puts on screen, right? So, you just have to, like, press a lot of buttons really hard, and it's really, really easy for that to start to kind of rip away at your tendons. <laughs> it's physically painful to play, is my point. Like, literally physically painful. Um, I've had practices where I went, like, more than two hours, and a tendon in my index finger just started, like, absolutely killing me, and I just had to stop. So I tend to practice this game in, like, roughly... It's quite easy to get hit here. Roughly, uh, you know, one and a half hour bursts. Um, I haven't mentioned it, but... Ooh, this one was 41, not 42. Each of these doors has a combination that you, uh, are supposed to learn from Lisa. I usually use a donut here, I think. I think I will, just to be safe. Um, at this point, the challenge is complete, right? Like, I can't... I don't think it's possible for me to throw hard enough to die three times on this level. Um, especially since I'm, you know, most of the way done already. Also, shout out to JJ for uh, chilling in chat and letting everyone know how bad this game is so that I don't have to. It truly is just awful. Uh, okay, so we don't actually get all four uh, power rods this time. I've gotten hit by this guy so many times. One, two... Uh, buckle my shoe! Yes! Okay. So that was one of the three... No. I'd say there are two spots from here on, that one included, where I am likely to get hit. Not to die, but to get hit. So, in other words, I've got this. Absolutely got this at this point. It would be the mother of all throws if I borked it. Right? No Marge again. I've gotten very bad Marge in G. Very bad. Um, in the speedrun, they take quite a few intentional deaths, actually. You would hoard the free one-ups. The ones that you can get without losing time on this stage. And then you would, you know, collect a power rod and then die so that you go back to the door. And it saves, like, upwards of, like, 10-15 seconds per room sometimes. It's quite substantial in what is essentially, a, a, you know, a 15-minute 30 speed run. So, I'm not gonna do that, obviously, because of the life limit. But, uh, this is an easy place to get hit, but I got through it no problem. Uh... I'm, I'm thinking about doing a real speedrun, honestly. I've got the skills. I wouldn't, like, you know, obviously wouldn't challenge world record, but I think I could maybe even get third place. Definitely fourth. Fourth is, like, the fourth place world record is free. But it's also fourth place world record. Who wants fourth place, right? Um, this is one of those runs where, like, it's so optimized and so tight. Like, the, the run that I'm basing most of my strats on was... Uh, the Mexican runners run. Uh, I use a donut here as well. Uh, and, I mean, even in his run, like, it was world record at the time, he made so many mistakes, he got bad RNG. There was a ton of room for improvement, but since then, another run has come in and cut, like, more than a minute off, and I just don't see that being beaten. Absolute madness. Alright, so I have all the power rods now, I just have to go turn in the last one the last uh, set, and then, um, I mean, I don't know, there aren't any more power rods, but we need five more. This is the next place that I'm likely to get hit. Oh, there we go. Wow, Hitless World 5. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, but, I think I know someone who might be able to help us get that last uh, power rod. All right. I don't think Marge even saves time here, because you have to, uh... Wait for her to go and deposit the rods anyway. So, yeah. Uh, one out of three Marge spawns is the worst RNG I've ever gotten. <laughs> it's really bad! <laughs> but that's okay. It's not about speed. Oops, no, I was supposed to go on to, uh, first floor. And, uh, because we got the good Maggie, I can just sail through here. I want that hitless world five! Oh, hey Maggie, what's up? And that... Maggie? Is time. 
Oh, well that's it. I'm officially a mod now. I mean, I'm gonna assume that I destroyed this challenge as well. Uh, JJ, of course, will now be known as uh, JJ of Gaming underscore for the next month. And I'm happy to announce, JJ, your punishment game is going to be Bart's Nightmare for the NES. Um, because you need more Bart Simpson and you need a different kind of bad. So, you know what? There's one more thing. So this is our reward, Bart Simpson on uh, Mount Rushmore, but you know what? I think that, I think I deserve to be up there on the mount. Don't you think? Absolutely beautiful. Nailed it. Didn't get hit on World 5 at all. Took two stupid deaths on World uh, 2 and 3 respectively, which is really bad. But World 4 blitzed through it, no problem. World 5 blitzed through it, no problem. Easy game, don't ever play it, it's terrible. That's it for me. Check out JJ's Dark Souls Crowd Control. Follow him, he's an awesome guy. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy your channel points. Alright, that's me done. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, fellas.